Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Eye YouTube channel and it's the 1st of June which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, learn more about the sketch, see the first set I made, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. A great big welcome back to all my subscribers and regular viewers. I'm so glad that you're here again. So if you're new to my channel or new to the sheet load of cards videos, let me tell you a little bit about this. On the first of each month, I stop by with a new printable for my subscribers. Each of these printables is two pages, and on the first page, I give you this month's sketch, the supplies you need, let you know how many cards you'll be making, but if you don't want to make a sheet load, I do also give you the dimensions of each of the pieces individually. Most months, I do try to include some alternatives or other ways you can use this sketch, and you will see that in today's set, I did turn some of my cards horizontally. As I was editing today's video, I realized that I completely forgot to mention something about this month's sketch. This might seem a little familiar to some of you. Before I officially brought the sheet load of cards back as a free printable, I had a little series where I would come on and share with you how I made a lot of cards in a little bit of time using the same layout. But again, I never made it official. Well, this sketch is from one of those videos that I shared a couple years ago that I have had many of you ask if I would turn it into a sheet load of cards. So if you're interested in seeing the original video, and there might have even been more than one, I will link those in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get back to today's file. The second page of the file always includes the cutting guides and it gives you a visual of how to cut each piece of pattern paper and each cardstock. Also on each month's printable, I have some hashtags that if you share these in videos or on Instagram, I would love for you to use those so I can stop by and see what you made using the printable. Today's video is a project share and debut of the file, and tomorrow's video I will be back to share with you how I created my first set in a process video, and along the way I do have a few tips for you, so if any of the special instructions are a little confusing, hold off making your set and come back tomorrow. Also tomorrow, all of my collaborators will be joining me in sharing their June creations on either their YouTube channel, their Instagram account, or their blog. Everybody is linked below if you want to go ahead and get subscribed and follow them so you're all ready for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. During tomorrow's video, I will share with you more details about each of the products I use for today's set, but in case you're interested after seeing the cards in what products I used, I do have a picture here on screen. All of the sentiments came from the Pretty Pink Posh Thoughtful Greeting stamp set. I stamped that in Versamark and embossed with gold embossing powder. You might have noticed on each of the cards some cute little glittered gold embellishments and those are the stickers on the right that you see from Elizabeth Craft Designs. 
Besides just some regular white cardstock I had here on hand, I used some gold paper from Michaels. And for my pattern paper, I used some paper that my friend Danny shared with me, and it is from Stampin' Up. If you're interested in any of these products, I will link what I can find in the description box below. You might have noticed that this month's card set has a lot of sparkle and shine to it. Not only did I use metallic cardstock for my fishtail mats, but I also used a new to me embellishment. You might have noticed these little gold circles that are clear in the center, but there's also some glitter there. I received some cards from a subscriber last month that had these on them and I just had to track them down because I fell in love. Here's what the product looks like. It is Elizabeth Craft Designs Peel Off Stickers, and I can't remember the exact name of these, but I do have them linked in the description box below. But there are tons of these cute little stickers, and they're in five different sizes, so they go from teeny tiny to just a little bit bigger than teeny tiny. I just thought these were a fun addition. And heads up that in tomorrow's video in the process, I'm going to tell you how you can get some of these and some silver ones for yourself. So make sure to stop back by. If you're a little impatient and you want to get started on these right away, I do have a tip for you before you get started. But again, tomorrow you'll see all of this in action. For these banner pieces, I did hand cut these and tomorrow I'll show you kind of how I did that. I used a little help from a punch and then I cut them all by hand. But the mats for them, the gold paper, it is longer than what you need. But that's just to allow so you can hand trim a nice or as close to as even border as you can by hand. If you do make some of these cards, I would love to see them. I did mention the hashtags before, but there's also a way that you can send a card in to me. I will link the show us your sheet load video in the description box below, and you can find out how to mail that card in to me, and I share it in my end of the month video. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for yourself. Again, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel, but I'm not going to follow up or make you send me an email for a link or a password. We're just going to go on the honor system. It's super easy to subscribe. You just click on that button below and you're done. If you are a subscriber and would like the printable for yourself, all the way down at the bottom of my description box is a link. You can just open this up and view it on screen, or you can open up and print it so you have it in front of you. I will tell you too that even though I do print mine in color, these will work perfectly fine if you only have a black and white printer. I can't wait to see what you create. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.